first half. I mean, I just got good looks, made my shots. Uh, I was trying to come out and be aggressive. I think I did maybe not a great job at that the last few games, so happy that it worked today. As a team, you guys have had some slow offensive starts in the last few games, so how big was it to hit him in the mouth a little bit? Uh, that was very important. I think it gave us a lot of a lot of momentum uh, and rhythm going into the into the second half. We struggled a little bit in the second half, but uh, you know, coming out strong is very important to you know keep keep the energy. Yeah. All right, Ty, you had a really good game today. Uh, but your hometown Vikings lost today, so bittersweet? Uh, very bittersweet. Um, big Vikings fan. Um, I was kind of trying to get updates a little bit towards the end, and then they told me that we lost. Uh, kind of hurt, but I'd rather I'd rather have a, a victory for us, for sure. The Bills lost, too. <laughs> Can you talk about them? what it meant to the team to bounce? And I'm supposed to carry a little It was very important. I mean, coach was talking about um, we got to validate Thursday's win today. Um, we all thought that like the win, the big win on Thursday wouldn't have mean, wouldn't have meant anything uh, had we dropped the game today. So it was very important for us to to win this game, and everybody I think came out focused and ready to achieve that goal. I mean, we had him marked. Uh, on our scouting report, him and, and Bonton as well. They're their go-to guys, main scorers, and I think th uh, those are the players that, that carry a lot of load for them. Um, so taking them out was, was a huge key to our success. I think Dejan and Bryce did a really good job to start off. Hi, so Ty, what has it been like playing this Pac-12 uh, season so far? Uh, it's been a blast. We've played some very fun games. Uh, Washington was definitely at the top of the list so far. But um, just playing with my teammates, uh, we've developed a great relationship over the uh, non-conference play and it's carrying into the conference play so far and uh, we're going to keep building and keep growing and it's going to be, I expect it to be a blast. You know, from Jordan to Minnesota, how much do you really pay attention to schools like this? Uh, now or like when I was, um, I mean a, a little bit, uh, I wasn't really recruited by them that much so I wouldn't say I paid attention to them a whole lot but uh, yeah, that's all I can say about that. Uh, I know I know those gyms are, especially UCLA is a big time gym, big time atmosphere. So I'm looking forward to going on the road and uh, seeing what we can do. Washington State uh, you know, mixed things up, uh, put in some zone defense at different points, and you kind of seem to bomb away against it. How do you feel about the way you executed against their zone? I feel good about the way we executed uh, versus zone. Uh, I mean, we just faced zone the whole game versus Washington, and uh, Washington's a little bit longer than uh, Washington State is. so. Uh, gave us a little bit of an advantage um, ha having faced uh, the long zone of Washington uh, on Thursday. Oscar, can you just talk about uh, you know, Lucas's contribution and what he gave off the bench today? Oh, huge. Yeah. yeah. Um, our inside game was, was an important piece to, to in our game plan for this game. I think, like we said, that they like to pressure a lot uh, on, the, on the perimeter, and then um, the, their weak spot is going to be inside, so we want to play inside out. And I mean, Lucas, uh, he puts in work every practice. Um, he plays really hard, and I think games like this are very important for his confidence. And then um, building on that, also important to to our team, having him uh, in that state of mind later on in the season. So you guys really took care of the ball, less than 10 turnovers, only nine. So how do you guys feel about that, especially you throwing the ball a lot? Uh, feels good. Um, we know that if we limit turnovers, we're going to have a great chance to win uh, ball games. So um, limiting turnovers is a big emphasis for us, and uh, we executed that tonight. Thank you. Um, to get into conference play, and obviously we uh, were the beneficiaries of three home games to start, and, but to be able to protect home court uh, is fantastic. And now we find out what life li is like on the road, and we understand that's a new challenge and a bigger challenge. But uh, today's game was um, a lot of things went well for us early. Um, guys played really hard on the defensive end. Offensively, we did a nice job making plays for others and not turning it over. And that tends to be a great recipe when we do that. But um, Washington State, uh, I know, will bounce back from this, and, um, and they do have some really nice pieces and play extremely hard. And, um, but we're excited about this win. Coach, how impressed were you with your freshman tie, 22 points? He was really good, and he didn't force a whole lot. I thought he was 
judicious on when he was aggressive with the basketball and when he pulled it out. Uh, obviously shot the ball well um, and has a presence about him um, when he's leading the team. And the team kind of has that, that same presence. Uh, certainly needs to keep himself out of foul trouble and not get tic-tac fouls and be a little bit uh, smarter to keep himself out of foul trouble. I mean, it's always important, and we've shown in the last few games we can start slow and still build throughout the game. But um, it was great. It was great that we kind of addressed it. And wh when I addressed it with the team, it wasn't about, hey, let's go out and get a big lead early. It was just about let's make sure we follow the game plan and play as hard as you can from the start. And that's kind of our definition of a fast start today. And we certainly did that. And then obviously the shots went in, so it, it looked good. Following up on that, Oscar kind of had the reciprocal today where it was first half. Did I even play him in the second half? You know, with his, his foul trouble, he didn't have a whole lot of opportunity. But in the first half, he was really good. And obviously, we went into him and uh, certainly very, very effective. But um, yeah, he just didn't, with foul trouble and the way the game was, he didn't get a lot of minutes in that second half. You know, defensively, you've now held you know, three really top scorers in the last couple of games to almost nothing. I mean, that's got to be a source of great pride that the team can do that. It is. And we have, I think it's two things. One is, I think, our team defense and the schemes are are very good and the guys are understand them and bought into them but it also I think shows the the value of our individual defenders you know Dejan and Bryce today I think they really enjoy the idea of, uh, of being locked down defenders and take a lot of pride in that and understand uh, how much value that adds to our team I think a couple of things. I mean, we, we wanted to keep the mentality of attacking inside first. Um, Bryce, uh, it was just a different way to get him some looks inside. And uh, certainly can be another uh, you know, tool in the toolbox as we're uh, looking at offensive game plans. But uh, he does a nice job, and he's big enough and strong enough to be able to score inside as well. How do you feel about the minutes that Lucas can give us today? Well, he's really good. I think uh, his ball screen defense I was really pleased with. He um, you know, needs to eliminate the turnovers in the first half, but uh, added a spark. He, he brought value to what he was doing on both ends of the floor and, uh, and, and gave us a net positive for what we were doing. How important was it for you guys as a team to have a strong game coming off of the win against Washington? I think it's important. I think you know, it's a sign of maturity. You know, we are still a young team, but I think we're um, right now proving that we have some maturity about us. The fact that it was a hard-fought game against Washington, we knew how good we felt and how excited we were. Um, but then to come out and back that up and validate kind of what we did the couple nights before, I think was very important. So, Coach, 61% from the field and two guys were perfect today. Is that getting good shots or was it just great shooting? Both. I think the guy and it was, it was, I think we had a lot of really good shots because the guy's mentality was making plays for others and the 23 assists. I think really shows that, that we weren't just going in and making plays for ourselves. It was trying to find an open teammate and guys willing, um, and not only willing, but really looking uh, to make the extra pass. And then, yeah, and then we have some talented players who are making the shots as well. Do you still hold the same core of your kind of a similar No, I think they absolutely. I mean, everybody knows the, and our team definitely knows the history of. Um, UCLA basketball and uh, Poly Pavilion, and I think they hold that in high regard. But at the same time, I think um, every team and every t program we play against, we understand it's that day's matchup. And I think our guys, uh, I guess it's, I can see both sides of that. They understand and respect the uh, tradition around UCLA, uh, as they do with every program, but also understand that game, that day's game, is just what it's all about, and we're going to go toe to toe. You mentioned you, know, you got to start Pac 12 with three straight home games, and the non conference was a heavy home schedule as well. What are you hoping to see from your team as they kind of go on the road and get that first taste of you know, a really competitive Pac 12 environment? Yeah, growth. Uh, we'll talk about you know game plan and things like that, but we just need to see continued improvement in the areas that we, we target as a staff as we prepare for that game. Um, we haven't had tons of road challenges and true road games yet. Uh, but I also think they have had uh, those games in the past. And we've already seen with our freshmen, they seem to adapt pretty well, rise to the occasion, if you want to call it. But uh, I anticipate that they're going to enjoy uh, being on the road and enjoy that kind of an atmosphere. Anything else, Coach? All right, thanks. Thank you.